there in the distance <clears throat> is the new tower where the Twin Towers used to stand. This is the view from Brooklyn on Metropolitan, about to come to Lorimer. I'm making this video to say Merry Christmas to Mom and Dad, and I can't afford to get you anything, so I'm making you a video of a day around New York City. All right, so here we are going down to the L train. This is where I check to see when the next L train is coming. So that's going the other way. We're looking for Manhattan bound. Hold on. Well, I could just keep on walking, but there we go. Two minutes. So, get out my subway pass. There we go. Drop my pass. All right. Now I also like to call the L train the Hipster Express. And there'll probably be a lot of hipsters. Let me get down there. You'll see. Switching trains at Union Square, and there are performers. Alright, I gotta get going to the Q train. Alrighty, so here we are in Times Square, the heart of it all for tourists. Um, I just realized I haven't really been here in a while. There's something going on over there. But here I am in Times Square um, wishing you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Um, and I'm going to take you around to some of my favorite parts of New York. We're going to start with the Theater District because that's my favorite part of New York, which is also around Times Square. So, yeah, here's something that I love. So here's Porgy and Bess. Just down there is Billy Elliot. Right here is Follies, Adam's Family. And the spookiest thing on this street besides the Adam's Family is the Giant Scientology Church. So there's Lion King, and then other desert cities, Bonnie and Clyde, what's on their mountaintop. You can see that sign that's right there. That's the Harry Potter sign for how to succeed. And then Private Lives, and I believe Phantom is down there as well. All right, and here we have Rock of Ages, Memphis. Let's see what else do we got? Uh, Harry Connick Jr. or the How to on a Clear Day. Hugh Jackman is right next to Memphis. Oh, and then there's Phantom just down there. All right, so here's the Ambassador Theater where they have Chicago, which has been running forever. And right behind me is the musical of our people. Yes, the Book of Mormon, the musical. The best musical of the century. All right, here's where the Fantastics plays at the Jerry Orbach Theater. It actually plays on the third or fourth story. Like, you have to go in and they go up a big old flight of stairs. But yeah, that's where the Fantastics All right, so here's what they call what they've recently been calling Schwartz Alley because it is home of both Wicked, noticed by all of the green, which is like a big Wicked sign. Wicked, here we go. And the current running revival of Godspell, which I saw, which is the most amazing thing on the planet. It is absolutely phenomenal production, and I love it. So yeah, they're together in this one, one little place, both written by Stephen Schwartz. Okay, here's something that is really, really inappropriate, but I think is absolutely hysterical. Um, there's 
many a houses of ill repute here in New York City um, where they sell things they shouldn't, you know, probably be selling. But this one has my favorite title. Most of them have titles like Adult Lounge and it's just like stupid, stupid titles. And I'm stalling until this bus moves out of the way so you can see the sign. But this one by far has my favorite title because I can only imagine what emotions you would feel inside of a place that has, that is a gentleman's club and lounge with live models. But I assume the best word to describe that would be mixed emotions. It makes me laugh every single time I go by it. All right, so here we are at another fantastic place. Well, there's Christie's Auction House over there, but here's NBC Studios, another great touristy location. Let's go see Rockefeller Center. This is the ice rink. We're going to see here's all of NBC whatnot. This whole like, part of the building is all it's called the NBC Experience Store. So you can literally buy anything you want that has to do with NBC. It's a lot of fun. This is 49th Street, I believe. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, 49th between between 5th and 6th. This is the Rockefeller Plaza, Rockefeller Center. It's a great, great, great place. So they're setting up over there something for the Today Show. Here's the Today Show. I'm not sure what they're setting up over there. Thank you, Thank you too. And here's the tree. The Rockefeller tree. It looks like it's wilting a little bit. I'm just gonna put that out there from the side. Here's Rockefeller Center. Typically throughout the rest of the year they have flags of all the different nations, but right now they have gold and silver flags, which is pretty cool. So here's toy wooden soldiers, drummer boys, and all of Rockefeller Center. And they thought it would be a good idea this year to give everyone um, boom boxes to play, all the bell ringers. So a lot of them are singing and sometimes they use a cha-cha slide because that's how we keep it classy. So here is the classic Rockefeller ice rink. There's Prometheus the statue and the tree. There we are, Rockefeller Center. So here's one of my favorite things in all of New York, the waffle and dingus carts. Yes, a cart that only sells waffles, and they are amazing. Okay, Mom, here is something specifically for you I found while walking up Madison Avenue. So we'll take a look, and then I'll let you guess what it is, I guess? So, we have some of these, and some of that. And some of this. I'm intentionally not showing the name yet. Don't worry, because it is the Carolina Herrera New York story. It's very beautiful. There you go. I knew you'd enjoy that. Just for you, Mom. Here's another great spot. The temple on one corner. Juilliard on the other, and Lincoln Center over there. We'll get some better shots. Here's Lincoln Center. There is the New York City Ballet, and the Met, and New York Philharmonic's building, and the big fountain in the middle. I love Lincoln Center. It's, it's very pretty. So here's a great little part of New York, known as Columbus Circle. There's the Time Warner buildings, and all the lit up trees. And the big Columbus statue. And CNN. And skateboarders and people. And Times Square is right in the distance, right over there. We're at one corner of Times Square. And then, yeah. If you follow this, it goes down to Lincoln Center, where I was just at. And here's a big old statue. Hold on, let's find out who's rear we're looking at. It's a big old statue of an elephant holding an apple. You know. Just because, why not? It's New York. Just kind of go with public art here. There's a big globe over there. Okay. Columbus Circle. All right, just got off the train back in Brooklyn. Here is my favorite thing. Literally, as you come from the stairs, 
Bagel Smith, which has amazing bagels for two dollars. They are so good. Okay, to my apartment we go. So this is my apartment. This is what it looks like from the front door. Here's our little corner kitchen. If you notice, there is no dishwasher because dishwashers do not exist in New York. And, you know, food storage and whatnot. Um, here is our living room slash table where we eat. There's the Christmas tree you guys sent me. Here is the patio. Giant patio, I might add. But the patio where I have to make all of my phone calls. So, we have quite a bit of space. Here is the view that I see when I call you guys and look out over the, out over everything. So yeah, we have like a ton of room out here. And so we're on the third floor and the, the first two floors below us, like we're on top of the second story and then three through nine rise up to there. So that's how that works in our little, our little place. So, this is where I have to run to every single time my phone rings. Typically we just put our phones right there. So here's this and here's that. Here's our little hallway. One bedroom's right there. And then another bedroom's right there. Then the bathroom. And then Derek's room, Derek's bed. And this is a Mine and Derek's bathroom, which we share. Just stark white. Everything in New York is stark white. I guess it's just easier that way. Here's my closet over here. And then here is my Harry Potter closet bedroom, which is kind of messy, which I know is exactly how you would picture my room to be. My bed is up on center blocks because I am that classy. I sleep right next to a window. Technically an entryway. There's the doorbell. Here's the bookshelf that I have all of my stuff on. And yeah, there's, so this is our apartment, our fun little, oh, it's my dresser. There's me in the mirror. So this is our fun little New York apartment that we have here in Brooklyn. So I just wanna say Merry Christmas, and I love you guys very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year, and hopefully I'll be able to see you guys soon. I don't know when. I'm thinking April. I'm going to try to do my best to be home by April, even if it's for a week or so. Um, I love you and I thank you guys for everything, everything, all of your support, all of your love. And yeah, I love you. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye.